Today we are at Nita's Head and we are magnet fishing. <laughs> My first finds today were a spoon, two bolts and a two pence piece. That's a bit of a boat, it's a rubbing strake. I'm surprised I picked that up because they're normally aluminium. It's a rubbing strake, And something here. Maybe a hook. Blurry, anything? Yeah, there's something there. Alright, have a go again. That's heavy. That's a fucking heavy item. Mud weight? It's big too. It's like I'm dragging it. I'm dragging along the surface of it, whatever it is. That's big. Oh, it's off, isn't it? Oh, bike. Is it? Oh, it's a ladder. <laughs> Now we're going to try Ersted. Didn't really have a lot of luck at Ersted to be quite fair. We only got like fishing rod, fishing reel, fuel lures, and of course the proverbial cutlery. The best thing about it is the church. Check it out. We are magnet fishing at Ludham Bridge. <laughs> Today I was on the grappling hook and Heather had the magnet. I managed to fish out a couple of fishing nets and um, I also had a bit of a strange find with some metal and some chains, some odd bars and stuff, but it was really Heather who was finding the interesting finds today. You do find a hell of a lot of scrap metal and also rubbish. The rubbish just goes straight in the bin, doesn't belong in the river. However, Heather was really having some luck and this was the first time she'd actually ever done this. She pulled this rond anchor out and literally seconds later, this chap up here who's also magnet fishing pulled one out too. What a strange coincidence. She found boat hooks, she found pen knives, fishing lures, bike lights, stainless steel crockery, cutlery, teapot lids, oh my god, thimbles, the list just went on and on and on and on and on. She was pulling stuff out of the river literally every minute. It's really quite um, amazing just how much stuff she actually found, especially when it's the first time she had done it. Look, even some rigging, pulled out some bloody rigging as well. It's amazing what's in the river. A lot of this stuff I think has actually found its way in there by accident. You can tell that really just by what it is, I think. Some of the things we were pulling out were a little bit more menacing. There was a few barbecue bits in there and stuff like this. I mean, there was even a, a pipe cutter. What on earth is a pipe cutter doing on the broads? Anyway, I suppose all these things have their own story. Scaffolding. Found a lot of scaffolding. The fishing nets and the fishing rod stands, I left those for the fishermen because they're totally usable. As far as Heather, well, she was enjoying herself so much I couldn't get her to leave. In fact, I came to the conclusion that she's probably the only woman on the Norfolk Broads who's magnet fishing. Another thing is, she's probably the only woman in the UK who's going to be getting a magnet for Christmas because I haven't got to play with mine all day long. <laughs> 